Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Esteban Moya and I'm the Bronx Naturalist. Here on this channel I just wanted to do park tours of different parks uh, first here in New York City of course starting in the Bronx and then any parks that I can get to around the world. So uh, when most people think of cities they usually don't think of their parks. Well New York City actually has 38,000 acres of parkland which makes up 20 percent of the city. The Bronx, by the way, is considered the greenest borough, which having 25% of its available land being parkland. <clears throat> uh, so today I'm going to start by doing one of the local parks here in the Bronx. It's the Joyce Kilmer Park. It is located on the corner of 161 and Grand Concourse and goes all the way to 164. It's one of the smaller parks and it was like a good place to start. So let's start uh, looking around this park, shall we? Uh, Joyce Kilmer Park is actually named after a poet and journalist who wrote for the New York Times and the Stars and Stripes Weekly during World War I when he was stationed out in France. Uh, Joyce is actually known, uh, Mr. Kilmer is actually known most famously for a poem he wrote, Trees, that is me memorialized here in the park with a plaque. We'll take a look at it in a moment. Uh, straight ahead, you can actually see the Bronx Supreme Court. It is an Art Deco building that opened up in 1938. Here in this park, you'll typically find most of the locals either just kind of sitting, enjoying nature, going out for a quick run or playing with their dogs in the center lawn. This park is a very, very dog friendly park. Uh, here we're coming up on the plaque for Joyce Kilmer's poem, Trees. Here you can see the plaque that is inscribed with Joyce Kilmer's poem, Trees. This can be found on the Walton side of the park closer to 161st. As we head south, we'll come across a statue honoring Louis J. Heights. Louis J. Heights was the Bronx's first street commissioner and helped with the initial designs of the Grand Concourse. The statue is composed of two figures and a pedestal. The figure on top is Louis J. Heights and the female figure by the name of Fame is inscribing the pedestal. Both of the figures are made out of bronze and the pedestal itself is made out of concrete. This memorial can be found at the entrance by 161st and Walton. And now as we move forward to the very south end of the park, we will get more views of the Bronx Supreme Court and we will come across one of the special features of the park, the Lorelei Fountain. This fountain is dedicated to German poet Heinrich Heiner. Lorelei is the German word for female water spirit, similar to a creature like a mermaid. The entire fountain is made up of Italian white marble. I'll be including links in the description to each of the features that I discuss about the park today, in case you want to do a little more research about them yourselves. It is currently wintertime, so most of the trees are not in bloom, except for the evergreens on the west side of the park. For those of you who want to do some nature photography, this park will feature some of the usual small creatures, like squirrels, pigeons, sparrows, and robins. We also have a nest of crows in the area, and if you're really lucky, you might come across the red-tailed hawks that have taken to nesting in the high bridge area of the South Bronx. As we reach the very north end of the park at 164th, we come across a New York City park amenity of a children's playground. Again, this has been the Bronx Naturalist. Thank you for taking your time to walk through this small park with me. I'll look forward to uh, putting up more parks, and if you have any ideas of parks that 
you would like to be featured in this channel, please drop me a comment. Thank you.